being eight or nine years old and getting to stay up late to watch my dad on the Ed Sullivan show. He wouldn't do anything. He's just kidding. Yeah. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't do it, really, honestly. Yeah. No, he's all right. Well, will you no, do it? I'll do it. I'll get them to do it. You tell him to watch out. I, 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 I... Take all your chances while you can. My dad was kind of the Armenian version of Zorba the Greek. Never know when they'll pass you by. His humor was warm. Like a son, the mathematician can. So, like me, trying my hardest to explain. His laughter was amazing. He was bigger than life, uh, even though he was 5'7". And we were pretty sure that he was going to live forever. So, needless to say, it was kind of unimaginable. When he passed away, it's so He wasn't David Seville or Ross Bank Serian Senior, he was just my dad. As he was driving his car, a little tiny chipmunk burst in front of the road and really dared my dad and his 4,000 pound car to drive past. I had the chance to start again Then you would be the one I'd come and find Like the poster of Maybe there's a chance I was mine. As a way of keeping uh, a lot alive, I listen to the songs and I watch the Alvin show over and over and over. And even in the dark, and I'd listen to the songs he wrote and sang, it was like he was still still there. So Jackson, Kenny G, Celine Dion, Tammy Wynette, Will Smith. I mean, it, it, it's a really long list, and it's it's always done with great respect and a little touch of humor. And, and uh, one of the things, I mean, it starts with my dad uh, meeting the Beatles in, in uh, the mid '60s.